What up, y'all? It's KP, the sports chick. So, week one is in the books in the NFL. So, now let's move on to week two. It's time for week two picks. So, let's get right into it. So, Thursday's game is going to be the New York Jets and the Buffalo Bills. Both of these teams are coming in 0-1. So, we need a win if you're either team to not be on the loser side of the schedule. So, with the Bills having injured an, an injured offensive line and the Jets with a awesome pass rush defense um the, the answer is simple uh new york jets are probably going to win it out because if your offensive line is down and your defense is great there's not really much um uh if, you, if you're able to hold the points down and, and the offense is hurt then you're sitting pretty jets that's all you need to do so i picked the jets to win on thursday night in their color black jersey uniforms um, and then Sunday, moving on to Cincinnati and Pittsburgh, this is going to be an awesome game because it's going to be old school, reminiscent of the old school AFC. It's going to be a great game. So both defenses are looking good. So it's really going to come down to whose offense is better. And in my case, in my book, I feel like Ben Roethlisberger is the X factor that's going to put Pittsburgh over the top versus Cincinnati. Moving on to Detroit and Tennessee. Tennessee um, did not do anything to shake anything up, in my opinion, of them in my eyes. But Detroit, however, a convincing week one win against Indianapolis, against a Andrew Luck. And it doesn't matter if he's he was injured last year or not. He beat, uh, uh, I'm sorry, they beat, they as in Detroit beat um, Indy with Andrew Luck. So... Um, now that they're playing Tennessee, Tennessee is coming off 0-1. Um, I, I definitely would not be surprised at this point to see Detroit win. So I'm picking Detroit over Tennessee, um, build, uh, you know, based off the momentum that they have from week one. Um, Baltimore versus Cleveland. Um, basically, it's a great defense in Baltimore versus a great offense in Cleveland. That's the battle in this game. Um, the this the uh, they have good receivers on uh, Cleveland, but they won't be able to f break free of Baltimore's defense. So I'm picking Baltimore over Cleveland. Now Dallas and Washington. This is another rivalry, another awesome game, another chance for Josh Norman to slap his gums and talk some trash. Even though you did not get the main assignment last week. Just saying, Josh Norman. Uh, versus Dallas, where they, they're coming off 0-1 after a um, needless loss, um, kicker-heavy loss. Uh, Dak Prescott played okay. You know, it looked like that the Cowboys were led by a rookie quarterback last Sunday, and that's okay. He'll only get better with time, as well as Ezekiel Elliott. First game is a, is a pro. You know, he had one touchdown, wasn't overwhelming, wasn't underwhelming. He was average, so expect him to be better. Those two will be the key if um, Dallas wins or not. But I am picking Dallas to win over Washington. Um, New Orleans versus New York Giants. I'm picking the uh, the uh, Saints just off the top. I'm just letting you know, just basically Drew Brees surprised me. I thought he was going to be average this season. Maybe he still will be, but... Based off of game one, he got my attention. He had a great, great week. Um, he is he is the Saints offense. He is the Saints. So if he does well, everybody, including defense, does well. So I'm picking the Saints. Um, San Francisco versus Carolina. San Francisco will not win this game. And I'm not saying that San Francisco is bad in any department. They just came off a win against the Rams last week. Um, 28 to nothing. It's not that at all. I'm just saying that Carolina is coming fresh off of a loss on Thursday night. Cam is going to want to win this game badly, just not because it's San Francisco, but because it's the second game, and they don't want to go on two, period, after they came off last season with how many wins? Oh, all but one. So, yeah, needless to say, I expect Cam to win this game, come out with a victory. Greg Olson will step up. We'll have some... Um, We'll have some long plays. We'll have some plays by um, Cam. Expect Cam to rush in for at least one touchdown. So I give Carolina the victory.
Miami versus New England. Now, what's interesting about that is Miami had that that close loss by two points to Seattle, so they had that long cross country trip to Miami, and then you got a back door and play New England. Because now look, New England has a solid backup or replacement quarterback in Garoppolo right now. Um, better than I expected. He could be, as of, as of week one, he could be a starter on another team. So I'm picking New England to win out uh, week two, and, and Miami's going to have to wait until at least week three to see if they're going to get a win. But New England is good, better than what I expected. I did not expect New England to win week one. I thought that um, they would at least have um, the Bills in the back, which is going to be in week four, and I thought that they would be one and three. But there's a good chance that they could be three and one. I don't ex uh, expect them to win week three versus Houston, but I definitely expect them to win on Sunday versus Miami and on week four versus the Bills. So moving on to Kansas City versus Houston, expect the Texans to come ready to play. Expect revenge, hard revenge. Um, the last two times Kansas City played Houston, um, they embarrassed them in some way. First time, the furthest time ago, Kansas City knocked them out of the playoffs, and then the last time they played them, they got embarrassed in the wild card of the playoffs. So expect expect a playoff type atmosphere in Houston. Seriously, I mean it. On Sunday, when KC comes to town, ready to play because Houston is not going to play around with this game. Brock Osweiler wasn't here, but I'm sure he is letting everybody tell him you know, how to feel in this game. But J.J. Watt's going to be healthier. Osweiler is going to have a better hold of the offense. Defense is coming to play. So, again, Texans and the Texans are a better team than they were last time they played KC both times. Mm -hmm. So I fully expect Houston to get their second win of the season. Seattle versus L.A. Um, this is going to be a lackluster game. I mean, Russell Wilson has injured his ankle, so he's not going to be 100%. doesn't matter if he's playing or not. Um, if he is playing, you know, we know that he's been practicing, so he hasn't had real time to let that ankle heal the way it should. So he's not going to be 100%. L.A. Rams, they're coming off that loss, that 28 to nothing loss versus San Francisco last week. Um, Seattle is going to win this game. Tampa Bay versus Arizona. Arizona didn't show it last week, but they are scary. Um, they have the potential to be. Um, and then Tampa Bay has, uh, the only thing you can really say about Tampa Bay at this point is James Winston. That's really it. Uh, how he does is dependent on their, their success is dependent on James Winston and how he does. So even saying that, I still take Arizona to beat Tampa Bay. Jacksonville. Um, versus San Diego, it's Jacksonville. Um, I think their new defense is going to take a, a couple, well, at least one more game to fully mesh. But the defense, the new defense that they got uh, or acquired on the offseason, they need at least a couple of uh, games to get it together before, before um, they can start really making an effect to whether you're going to lose or win a game based off of the defense. So, um, not much to talk about on the Jacksonville offensive side. San Diego, you got Phillip Rivers, who is way underrated. Um, I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not a fan of, of him per se, but his, his um, style, he's a good quarterback. He's, like I said, he's underrated. So, they have him, I, and uh, I think San Diego is going to pull out that win. Um, Atlanta versus Oakland. Oakland is still probably coming trying to come down from that win last week. That was probably the most amazing win last week, the uh, two-point conversion, when they could have just kicked the field goal to go to overtime, but apparently they didn't want to go to overtime. And you do realize that if they would have missed that two-point conversion, that would have been a loss, but they went for it and they got the, the W. Just amazing. That is something that you would not do if you're a little league. You're not telling the kids to go for two. You're going to overtime. So, um, they're coming down from that loss, Atlanta. You're just act, actually a casualty of the momentum. So Oakland, you know, and then, they, you know, Oakland's set to have a really good year this year. Derek Carr is the truth. And um, 
Both ones going to win. Uh, so Indy versus Denver. Indy is coming off of a loss to Detroit last week, and Denver beat uh, the Carolina Panthers. So when you hear that, you automatically think, Denver's got this one in the bag. Don't stray from that. Um, I like Andrew Luck, but again, the Colts aren't ready this week. Give them one more week and they'll they'll start, not only will they start winning, but they'll start becoming um, someone to talk about in the conference. So I'm, I'm taking Denver this week. Indy will st probably start winning in week three. Um, and then Sunday night at 7.30, Green Bay versus Minnesota. I love Green Bay versus Minnesota games. This is going to be a good one, too. Um, Aaron Rodgers, Jordy Nelson, AP. I look forward to it. So if AP can step up and hold his part of the end, bargain up, he, he, he had a very, very average week one. He was, he was an afterthought. Um, anybody in fantasy football knows that. So he's the X Factor. If he does well, they win. Doesn't matter who the quarterback is. So, um, unfortunately, because we do not know uh, if AP will play well, I'm giving the game to Aaron Rodgers, who had a great opening week one, who has shown shown that he is he is capable of winning this season so far. So, I'm giving the victory to Green Bay. Uh, and then Monday night, Philadelphia versus Chicago. Cupper is kind of like similar to Drew Brees in week one. Like, I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that uh, color, but you uh, won out. It was a good game. Uh, you played well. So, going into week two Philadelphia against Philadelphia, um, I'm taking Chicago over Philadelphia. Uh, Jay Cutler is the Bears offense. And um, as long as they can um, keep him upright, then they will get the win. So I choose the Bears. So those are my week two picks. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, anything to say about those picks, or any other comments, you can hit me up on kpthesportschick.com. That's my hub, of course, for all things KP the Sports Chick. And um, all my social media links are there. And then you can hit me up on YouTube as well. All my social media links are there as well.